Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we fought the Sodden crew and also went on another adventure after. And both crews that we used for that episode were insane. We also fought the Collector and we absolutely demolished him. I mean, talk about revenge, that was a, a brilliant way to get revenge for Diane, our Vestal, that unfortunately perished to him. Uh, but yes, we, uh, we definitely showed him that we have learned and we are prepared. And as such, Six and a few other members have started to track him for, uh, to be sure, in the future we don't come across him again. And if we do, we are fully prepared. Uh, but yes, uh, we do have a few new mods, mainly just the one, to be honest. And it is uh, around here somewhere. From Beyond triggers with a single dead hero. From Beyond is... The ability to bring back a deceased hero, and now that can, normally it can only trigger once you have three dead at least. Now it can trigger the, uh, under three, so is, there is a certain possibility that at the end of a mission we'll get a town event that allows us to bring someone back to life, which is going to be amazing, especially for story. I'm really looking forward to that happening. But yes, hope you guys have enjoyed um, the series thus far. I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into it more. We do have three new characters to uh, to introduce in this episode, some of which have had backstories for a, written for a really long time, and I'm really looking forward to getting them on board. So let's get right into those. Here we are in the Cursed Estate, and we have three new arrivals, and they are very, some very interesting ones, two of which we've been waiting on a really long time, and one is a completely new class. First up, we have Eltha. And this is our Helion, and this is a backstory by Friendly Shep. True to her hero class, Feltha was a serious troublemaker. She's always found some way to mess or prank with anyone she's met. Due to this, she did not have many friends. She wanted friends, and so she spent a lot of time with the cats and dogs of the town, thinking about what it'd be like to have some friends. Uh, not realised that the true problem was herself. She ultimately decided to leave once she grew of age, searching for some sort of purpose, and along the way, she found the Darkest Dungeon. A nice basic story, but one that I quite like. She's she's just she's just looking for some, some friends. She's just looking for some people to hang out with. Um, she unfortunately does have Weedy, which I think we also have on Octavia here as well. So these two going out together could be a slight problem. We'll have to make sure to bring some medical herbs with us. But here we have um, Octavia as well. Uh, this is our Antiquarian. Antiquarian is, of course, very useful. Very weak in terms of her abilities, but can allow us to find some extra um, trinkets and odds and ends that are going to sell for a nice amount of money. And this is a backstory by um, Procrastadina. Uh, someone that hasn't written as many backstories, but still, I'm uh, very excited to introduce our antiquarian here. Once the daughter of an esteemed noble family, she was forced to flee her country due to the uncivilized uprising, and has earned a sizable bounty on her head for that. While not very useful in battle, she can still ut utilize her elite noble education to distinguish priceless and ancient artifacts from the worthless trash. Again, another really basic but really great backstory gives us a really good sort of insight into into what she's going to do within the Darkest Dungeon here. Um, and I hope that she gets along with the group well. She's definitely going to be someone that's of great use to everyone here. So that's definitely going to be interesting. Um, and then last up, we have our Arsonist, Ash. And obviously you can tell where that name came from. This, this is a class I'm really looking forward to. Uh, literally just came out. It looks very interesting. Definitely looking forward to play. It's unfortunately a level zero, but I think we can get around that. Disconnect. Uh, this is a backstory by Softraw, by the way. Disconnected from reality is how he's described. At 20, Ash was taken to a prison, but he would lash out uncontrollably and burn down his own cell with nothing but a bulb and a sock. He always had a fascination for fire, and he was sent to a mental hospital. Apparently, he burnt down a church, but no one really knows. Uh, it was covered up by the manager. Ash was a lost cause, but his skills had been put to use... So his skills had been put to use so the manager himself, a deranged man, supplied Ash with enough gasoline and Molotovs to burn down a whole town. And he was sent to the darkest dungeon. I'm really liking all these backstories today. Um, they're all like relatively basic, but at the same time, they, they, they put across a powerful message of who they are and what their past is. It seems like Ash is uh, quite mentally unstable. Um, and he... Uh, he <laughs> 
is, as his name says, an arsonist. And he, uh, I'm, I'm guessing Ash isn't his real name, but a nickname he's been given through all of his uh, antics that he's been doing with the fire. But we have a few different things that we might want to do today. Remember, in the last episode, we got um, a Dismas Trinket, which is honestly just just amazing uh this here the parrying dagger uh his melee skill uh accuracy and damage has gone up his bleed chance has gone up and his repose damage and crit has gone up at the price of a little bit of extra stress um considering he has plus five crit on range skills um and quick reflexes he's gonna be he's gonna be cr crazy just absolutely crazy um, that quick reflexes and nocturnal actually cancel each other out for the most part. So honestly, fine with that. Um, so let's uh, let's have a little look at building. Um, we should probably build um, him to be a bit more melee centric. So let's have a look. How much does this cost? We don't have a lot of money here. Is the problem? I'm probably just going to leave his skills as they are for now, to be honest, um, and mainly just use these two skills here. Um, we need we need him in a slightly movable party, but let's uh, let's have a look where we want to go first. So we've got the Roman Collector here again. The Brigand Eight Pounder is about for us to uh, to go after. Uh, the trinkets aren't particularly what we're looking for, though. Uh, to be honest, we don't really need um, any any of these three. Uh, so maybe that'll be something that we leave for another day. So let's have a little look what else we've got. We've got a nice monk trinket here, which is pretty good. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm actually very tempted to go after the Roman Collector and see what we can get done there. I think first, though, we will uh, venture back into the curve and go for this um, three ancestrals relics, or ancestors relics, should I say. And let's try and put together a decently good party here. So, Dismas, of course, is coming out with us today. Uh, we want to test his new trinket out, test his skills. And to complement that, we're going to be giving him the uh, Book of Sanity to knock off that stress amount we could also give him um this as well the extra accuracy but less dodge in fact i think i'm going to do that he's going to get the he's going to get 10 percent extra stress so it's not quite going to negate all that stress but the extra accuracy is going to be really really good um of course the bleed skill chance isn't going to matter too much here um at all really but applying that duelist advance is going to be very very nice and I'm maybe thinking we could go with Urku here, uh, as Urku has some good repost synergies here. Where is Urku? Where are you, Urku? I've lost him. Absolutely lost him. I think Urku's a level 2, isn't he? There he is. Um, Urku, is, is Urku not available right now? Hmm. One, uh, yes, of course. I think we're getting rid of, we're currently getting rid of a, a quirk on Urku, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, that's fine then. He's unavailable today. That's fine by us. Uh, let's have a little look, see, um, what we want to, who else we want to bring then. So, Dismas could work quite well with Scarlet. I want to try and bring some of the, the level ones though and get those ranked up. Uh, let's re-organize uh, everyone and see who's maybe going to be good to come with us here. I'm, I'm very much thinking that we could bring um, Octavia on this mission with us, uh, as Octavia is going to allow us to get a whole hell of a lot more money, and she does have some nice Blight synergy there, so maybe we'll bring Octavia. Uh, Venus up front, as I do believe she has... Hmm. She doesn't have move skills, so she might not be the best to bring. This is a difficult one to choose. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find someone that's going to have good synergy with Dismas here. I think Dismas probably sets up there. Duos advances from there. And Angela's not very movable. Of course, we do have Agun Ag An Anguis. Anguis, who's, who's very movable. Um, and... Yeah, we'll, pr we'll probably bring Anguis here. Uh, he, seems, he seems like he would be good. Uh, or we could bring our Monk. We still do have a few people, though, that definitely need to go out again. I mean, Oracle hasn't been out at all yet. Sophia's only been out once. Beltha has only just arrived. But I, th I think I think uh, Angus is going to be a perfect one to bring with us here. Especially with that extra Blight that we've got going on here. The Blight is very, very important. Um, so, I think we put these two here. You can use that from any position, Kaya. Apart from position one. Okay. Okay, we need to be careful with that. Uh, and then we need to find a healer that's going to be valuable on this mission here. I think Maggie's probably a good one to bring. Maggie's been very, 
very good to us in the past. Um, Smith and Elise could also be good. Joseph could be really good as well. In fact, let's let's bring Joseph. I think Joseph's going to be really good considering he has the ability to blight all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll go with that there. And try that out. I think that should be a pretty good build for us here. He does indeed have the repost as well, which is really nice. Um, and that's going to be a good little synergy there. So let's try these guys out. And get ourselves just a few bits of food there. Why have I bought all those? I don't even know why I did that. Four. Three. Let's get our torches first. We know how much money we have to spend on everything else. Let's sell a bit of food here. We don't need all that food. Um, Sixteen. Then we've got three of those, three of those, three of those, three of those. We don't need four. Uh, two of them. And we'll bring that as well. Always want to bring this for the cure, just in case. And I think this is going to be a good group. Uh, I don't think we have anyone here that has any particular disagreements with each other. Everyone's relatively new to each other. They're going to learn to, to play around with each other as we go here. Of course, our antiquarian, uh, Octavia. She's going to be relatively useless in combat. That is that is apparent. Uh, we're doing to trinket people up as well before we go. Do not let me forget to do that. So let's go with the um, crit and damage with less dodge and speed. That's interesting. With the, with the plus five dodge, extra damage in the curve, and the Eldritch Hater, I think um, Angus is going to be insane in here. Absolutely insane. So let's go with the extra damage there. Uh, go with that crit modifier. And even, even go with the focus ring. Where is the focus ring? Does someone, does someone currently have our focus ring on? Um, let me just check that out. Sorry, before we, before we go here, let me just check out who's got our focus ring on. Okay, uh, Artemis doesn't have it on... Oku, you don't have it on. Murabi, you don't have it on. Who do we take out with us last? Um, it's Clint. Okay, Clint's still got some things in him. So we've, we've got a few people that have still got some trinkets on them here. Uh, so we brought out you. We brought out Victoria. Who did we bring out last time? Um, Ruby. Where's Ruby? How have, I, how have I messed this up so bad? Ruby, where are you? Nina, Sabrina, Nina and Sabrina. Then they need to go out together. Nick, Red, Aaron, Mary, Six, Scarlet, Isaac, Ruby. Okay, there, there we go. There's those. Um, take that off you. Jonathan, take those off you. And I think that's everything. Making sure people don't have stuff they shouldn't have. Okay, that's better. I'm Sorry about that, guys. I uh, didn't realize people were still trinketed up from the last adventure. Uh, let's get ready here. So, you're going to have that on. Along with the focus ring, honestly, I'm just going to go for insane crit and damage on you. Um, then, Dismas, you already uh, sorted. Mm, okay, fated is pretty good. Okay, so let's go with the extra healing bonus. And... What else is going to work for you, Joseph? Um, this is a, a kind of difficult one to, to think about, really. I think we'll just go with the um, ability to heal himself. That's going to be pretty good. And the stun resist. Uh, just because um, we don't really have... We don't really want to be spending our, our time healing ourselves. So it'd be easier to get a blight on and just uh, get a bit of healing out of that. That'd be quite nice. Uh, and then Antiquarian. I think we just want a, a really high amount of dodge on our Antiquarian here on um, Octavia. So let's have a look. Or we could go with really high protection. That could also work quite nicely. So let's see. Um, yeah, let's let's just go with a really high prop. Where's our other thing that buffs prop? This here, no, I can never remember what it is. It's these boots, isn't it? Okay, uh, we're getting the less speed, but that 40% prot is gonna k help her stay alive. I think there you go. I'm pretty happy with that. We've got to make sure we've got herbs with us, so let's go back to provisions. So we need like 16 torches, I think, 
16 food. Three of those. We'll take four. Three. Three. We'll take four of them because we always need one in our inventory. Two of those. And make sure we take that with us as well. Okay, hopefully we should be able to earn a good amount of money back here. I'm pretty happy with this uh, this group. I'm very interested to see how these guys work together. Let's head out into the cove. We have a plenty of, uh, of diary entries today as well. Uh, the first one is one written by me coming from Clint, our bounty hunter we took out in the last mission. Originally, I came here after the bounty on the groundkeeper's head, but now that is the least of my concerns. At first, I had planned to delve into the dungeons only to test my skills and make my intentions less obvious to the town folk and other heroes. But in that dark, dark ruin, I realised not only does this evil truly need to be halted, but also more importantly, there is a fair bit more coin to be made down in that dungeon than for a measly bounty contract. We also have one more coming from Mary. There's another one written by me, our keeper. Um, I feel the others here are constantly talking about me behind my back. A few of the guys I ventured out with the other day saw me for what I truly am, and I fear I drove poor Isaac to near insanity. Last I heard, the kind priest-looking fellow, Aaron, I think he's called, was helping him regain his mind. Aaron seems like a nice guy, but he reminds me a little too much of my father. Let's hop into the curve. Recover these lost shipments of rarities. That we may prevent okay, nice. So this one we kinda have to go everywhere. Uh I've I've made a little bit of a mistake here in taking our antiquarian out on a on a mission in which we have to pick things up. Uh that's gonna be not great. So let's have a little look here. Um Doubtful. That could go. They're all fine. I'm going to go with this and try and get rid of um, Inattentive here. I'd like to get rid of Inattentive, please. Ah, uh, Doubtful's gone. Doubtful's also bad, so I'm not too bothered about that. Would have liked Inattentive to be the one that go that went there, though, to be honest. But yes, we've just we've, we've not got a lot of inventory space to play with here, so I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to be too handsy with, with picking everything up. Right, so we do have armor piercing here. We'll set up our repost. That repost is going to be insane. Armor piercing to kill you. Well, we got to remember when we camp as well, we're going to have a slight problem with uh, with the horror Angus is going to take on. Um, so the blight there, that even healed you as well. Blight again on you. Uh, that should kill you. Oh, not quite, not quite. Okay, we are going to take a stun here most likely. Yes, we did. That's fine though. That repost is probably going to kill you. Nice. Having two members that we can set repost upon is, is really nice too. Uh, so there's our first antiquarian relic there, the ma minor ant antique. Okay, and here's our first uh, first relic here. We might want to come back and get those. It's probably what I'm going to go do. Like a venture round first and then come back and get them. Seems like the more sensible thing to do here. So yeah, let's go for the let's go for the stress dealer first. Nice. Setting that repose so early, so good. This is such a good combo between these two here. Such a good combo. Nice set, bit of blight set up there. We could also set up dodge on everyone as well. One of our skills sets up dodge very nicely. Did resist the disease there, but unfortunately we did take on the stun. I'm not too bothered about that though. Um, take out you. Nice one, Angus. We'll just keep using this because it's uh, it's decent damage, but more importantly, uh, it's going to keep the repose set up and going. It's really nice. So yeah, we are going to leave that for now. Uh, we've got more scouting here, which is lovely. We'll keep going back through here and come back to them. It's a lot of it's a lot of walking around. And remember, we could we could end up finding the um, the collector again here. Um, it's certainly possible. Not super likely, but it's possible. Uh, so we do have to be prepared for that when that happens. I may I may have uh, brought a little too few food here. We're getting these surprised, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, we're not really set up for this. These guys do have high bleed resist, but we'll hope. Ooh, nice crit. I should have re uh, reorganized my party there to set up that repost early. But no matter. Go for a kill here. Ah, unfortunate dodge there. No worry, Joseph. You're fine. 
Uh, ooh, nice. She's stealthed. Great. Uh, and we'll, we'll buff everyone's dodge as well here. Ooh, we're going to take a stun here, most likely. That's unfortunate. means we can't set up for the heals for later. It shouldn't matter too much. Try to take out the uh, the stunner. Make sure he's dead. Ooh, another huge crit there. Wonderful. Wonderful. So having two of these so close to the end here really helps us go adventuring safely. I would like to uh, to get some heals out here. Especially on uh, Mangus here. Anugus. So let's just... Just do that. Uh, set up the blocks there. I'm going to make sure you get properly healed up. That block is really going to help out in getting us our heals there. That repair is probably going to kill you. No, it didn't, but still. Set up more blocks. I just don't want to be weak moving out everywhere here. We'll heal you up as well. And then we'll finish you off. Great stuff. But as you can see, our inventory is already full. We do not want to be messing around with uh, picking up all of these quest items already. We want to be getting as much money as possible out of this. So we'll come back to the quest items. It is going to be a lot of backtracking. It's possibly going to lead to more combat. Uh, but I think we can handle that. I think we can handle that. But yeah, this is the best way to do this. Oh, that second food check is very, very bad for us. Because I, I have very clearly not brought enough food with us. This this could lead to a lot more stress than we're, than we're hoping for. Um, okay, we did get some food there, which is nice. Let's let's do this. Reorganize our party. Uh, 70, 100, 80. Go with you. Nice one, Dismas. Well done. Careful on our torches. Well, we don't have that many torches either. So we do have a battle here. No surprise. Um... Try and take out the stress dealer early. That blight on you. Um, oh, huge crit, Dismas. Huge crit. Well done. Well done. We'll go with the vapors. Buff everyone's dodge a little bit. Come on, dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, we really don't want any stress on Anguis here. Um, because he's going to be taking a lot of stress from his camping. If we end up having to do that. I'm really hoping we don't. But it's, it's a possibility that we have to be prepared for. Nice. Good heal. Oh, ho, ho, that's big. There you go. Taken out without a thought. More food. Great. More scouting. Great, great. Uh, we have to kind of go everywhere because we need to know what curios are about. We can actually skip that one, though, because we know there's no curios there. Because it, because these uh, these things we found the quest locations can be found as normal curious. We've got a map as well here. Could get a secret room. That'd be great. Unfortunately, no secret room by the looks of things. I think we've checked out every corridor possible here, which means there's no possible way we're we're, we're getting a secret room. Secret rooms do not have a guaranteed chance to spawn on. Um... Ooh, very nice. Uh, yeah, the secret rooms do not have a guaranteed chance to spawn on. Uh... Medium missions, only on long missions. Uh, so, we're going to take extra stress on our antiquarian if we lose the medical herbs. And I would like to keep those anyways. So, I think right now we throw away the holy water and take the rubies. And we... The hair of the sea dog is very important. So, I would like to keep that. But at the same time... We've cured everyone we need to cure. And no one's got it yet. And I don't want to throw anything else away. I really don't want to throw anything else away. I'm going to get rid of it. It's it's risky. It's certainly risky. But the money is very important on this mission for us. Please get a surprise. No surprise. Damn. Okay, we can take get rid of that snail. The we'll sea maggot very quickly here. Um, take out the stress dealer as early as possible. In fact, let's just go for the instant kill on the stress dealer. Really want to keep our stress as low as possible here. You hit the wrong guy. This must just not appreciate that at all. Pierce on there. And the piercing just and absolutely annihilates those guys. Um, set up the vapors. Oh, they really like going for him right now, Angus. Yeah, we can go with this. 
This misses melee damage right now is insane. And there you go. People are getting absolutely demolished here. Um, get a shovel on that, considering we've got so many now. More gold. Lovely. Uh, we actually, we have to go up this way and check out these curios first. 50 gold. Here's the last one. Okay, so we now know where all three are. That's great. That is great. So we can actually see quest location, Curia. So we can see the difference between the two. Um, we'll probably carry on and uh, and finish the entire area. I think that's going to be a good idea for us right now. Because we've got plenty, plenty more gold. In fact, I should be making sure to open up everything with the Antiquarian. That is a mistake I've been making so far. So I do apologize. Uh, if you open things up with the Antiquarian, you have a higher chance of getting her... Um, Hair extras, so I should be doing that. I do apologize that so far I haven't been, but we haven't opened that many curios that it would make a difference on anyways, so I don't feel like it's too big of a, of a mistake. Okay, love getting a shovel back when you use a shovel. Remember, this could be the collector. We've got to be ready for that possibility. We did just fight him, but we do have the roaming collector mod on, which means that it's, it's more of a possibility than it was before. Um, go for the heal here take you out. I love him just striking those down. In fact, we might be able to get away with not camping. If we can get away with that, that's probably a good idea. Although the Antiquarian Dancing Plague, that's unfortunate. Uh, the Antiquarian does have the unique ability to get trinkets. Like, fine trinkets through camping. So I, I kind of do want to take advantage take advantage of that when I can. I've got a double stun here, but you're dead. I can't believe our Antiquarian took on a disease there. That's really unfortunate. Deeds here. Um, get rid of the anti venom. Take the deeds. Uh, prone to uncontrollable dancing, which means she will move around within the party composition. Really not good for us, to be honest. Uh, she is a class that we very much do not want to be moving. And while we do have a pretty movable party, I'd rather not deal with that. So we know that we're not going to be needing five more shovels, so we can open these up. There is a few of her, um, a few of her curios, uh, not curios, uh, antiques that we still haven't found, by the way. We're still missing a few of those. So this, this last battle here, this last room battle, has a, a certain chance to be the collector. We do have to be aware of that and ready to dip if it is. It's not. Okay, good. We could end up getting the disease here, so let's hope we don't. We hopefully have more speed than him. We do. Try and finish him straight away. Finish him straight away. Good. Always want to get him down as soon as possible. Uh, we'll top you up a little bit. Only for one, but it's enough. And we'll go with this. Oh, wait. I did not realize that was a targeted thing. I thought it was an AoE. Finish you off. Nice. Well, Dismas is just... He's, he's going insane right now. He's, 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 he's doing crazy stuff. Okay. Uh, I, I need the keys. I need the food. I don't think we need the shovels anymore. I don't think we need the bandages anymore. Oh, I, I've just realized something as well. Um, I'll get rid of the bandages. Um, we just got rid of our anti-venom, which means we almost definitely shouldn't go for the, um, we almost definitely shouldn't go for the, uh, camping, because it, the, the, the blight that you get put on you is, is, is pretty brutal. We don't want to have to deal with that. Set up that repost. Get a blight on you. He could give us a disease here, so I'm worried for him. Make sure we get that dodge up, especially because of that. Punch out. Oh, Pierce is so good. That barrier is a little bit of a problem, but we can break barrier with Anguis here. Bit of stress there on Anguis. Yeah, especially while he's higher stress, I don't want to have to deal with the uh, the snakes. Nice one. Good kill there. Dismas. Joseph's been supporting Lovell. Very nice. And uh, Dismas is just, I don't know, he's just crazy. He's just crazy. Break through the prop. Go with a little bit of a healing buff there for Dismas. Set up that repost again, and you're completely done. There we go. Nice big crit there. 
Nice big crit. All of that. Pop that open. Oh, I opened it with the wrong character. You're stupid, aren't you? I'm stupid. Oh, this is lovely to get. Um, I'm definitely going to get that with, with you here. I know this is going to mean uh, more stress for the rest of the battle. I'm going to go back. I don't want to go through that thing over there. Right, so now we've just got to travel back all the way. Uh, I think we can still get food checks here, but I'm going to top these guys up just in case. Because uh, in case you didn't know, even when traveling through corridors you've already been through, there is a chance that um, combat spawns. You you will be notified of it on the map because you've already traveled through that area. But the, there is a real possibility that we come across more combat and we, we don't want that at all. So, got to be careful about that. Right, now we've got to make the decision. Like I said, decision. We've got to start throwing stuff away. We've got to start clearing stuff out. So, we're probably going to have to leave torches. Um, we know we're not going to camp, so we can get rid of the, the campfire. It, I know it seems like a really bizarre thing to get rid of our uh, camping equipment uh, and not camp, considering the Antiquarian has the ability to produce trinkets. Uh, I, I really do think that we are not prepared to fight the snakes, and I don't want to go into anything ill-prepared. I'd rather we take our time. Anguis is not ready. He's still reeling from from seeing the snake charmer to be honest he can't he can't quite cope with the uh the mental the mental i don't know what you even say he's just yeah he, he just can't he can't handle it he can't cope with it and we don't want to put him through any unnecessary stressful situations and right now that would be a very unnecessary very stressful situation and there's our second food check this is what i'm saying about the food checks it's just crazy we can actually open this up here so let's make sure we get our antiquarian Use another shovel here. Finding the Lovely. Is only the first test. Thirteen of those at seven fifty each. Wow. That is wonderful. Crack that open. Take that. Light that up once more. That's our last torch, and that's opening up a new, uh, new slot. There's another food check. Wow. The amount of food checks we got there. Thank God we found all that food. Oh, we would have had some big problems here. There you go. Everything's got... Return to the Hamlet. Feeling re very, very good about that adventure there. That, that went extremely well. Extremely well. 24,000 there. Nice amount of money regained. Lonely Meditate for stress relief. Um, extra chance to scout in the wield. And... Well, that's pretty good. Extra trap disarm. Nice. Okay, that's a good first adventure for Octavia there as well. Um, she's... Had a nice little time there. Uh, now what we need to do is spend some of this money on doing some upgrades. So let's uh, let's do that now. First of all, let's sort by level and make sure everyone's got their trinkets off of them. I always forget to do that and I really don't want to be forgetting to do that as much. Apart from the class specific ones, of course, we can leave those on. Good, good, good. Uh, Octavia didn't even really take too much, uh, too much of a beating, to be honest, which was really, really nice. Uh, then we'll just go to embark. Make sure these guys are back. And let's have a look at upgrading people, shall we? So... Okay, so we've got all your skills to upgrade. Let's go for weapon upgrades before skill upgrades. That's free. Nice. Um, there you go. Amaris. Eon. Needs the upgrades. Ruby needs her upgrades. Isaac needs his. Scarlet needs his. Sixth needs his. I say, keep saying his. It's not always a him. Uh, Mary. I'd probably go for Lucas first. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, check what we got here. Ooh, that's interesting. Um... Five scouting chance, five monster surprise chance, minus five party surprised. A slight amount of stress. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, seems worthwhile. Not right now while we've got this little money, but seems worthwhile in the future. Let's see if we've got anyone else to bring on. Um, we do. We have a butcher. So I think we'll take on a butcher and a barbarian. Very nice. So we'll be taking on a butcher here. Do you know, I'm pretty sure I just upgraded our assassin. 
spent money on her. And I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I just spent money on her and there's a one right there. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame. That's fine though. I can I kind of like the things that she's got on her right now. Uh I I'd rather keep the one we have anyways. So that's fine for Scarlet. And we'll take on a barbarian here as well. I think the Butcher's still yet to get a story. Butcher's kind of interesting. He's he's not a super unique class, but he is going to be useful to us nonetheless. And Barbarian here. Got some really interesting skills. Really looking forward to using the Barbarian. My god. Some cool stuff there. <clears throat> Definitely going to be interesting getting involved with her. Uh, and our Helion. Um, we haven't checked her out yet. So she's got Weedy, Plagued, Stout. Okay, no, not too much difference between those two. We don't really need to switch those out. I think otherwise we're pretty good there. Uh, do we want to switch out our cook, Maggie? Um, this would reset our XP, but let's have a look. Yeah, we don't want that. No, minus 20 stresses torches above. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, you've got... Actually, you've got some really good stuff there. Really good stuff. And gluttonous as well, which makes so much sense for your class. Uh, okay, we'll leave those guys as is, but we've got some new classes coming in here. Uh, I'm a little worried about our money situation right now. I think we're a little low on funds. A lot of things we haven't been using that we could get rid of. Um, I do realise that. Let's have a little look, see what we've got uh, going on here. So, Mark of Zeal is extra virtue chance and extra accuracy and speed while marked. Another baneful casting, which is pretty good. And the extra antiquarian healing skill. That's not great. Uh, maybe we'll do something else here. Extra accuracy. 10% damage received, though. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. Dragon Slayer, we've already got that. Devil's Backbones. Another interesting one there. I don't think we want to be doing the 8-pounder yet. Ooh. That's interesting. Uh, go with the Serpent Ring. I think we should probably do that, actually. Uh, we got to activate the three infected corpses. So, we have the Sunshine in the Thicket town event here. I should, check, I should always check on the town events. Oh, that's just the one free weapon upgrade. No worries there. Uh, okay, so let's let's put together a little group for this, shall we? Sort by level again. We're, get, we're starting to get to the point where we've got majority level 2s now. We've still got a lot of level 1s. We're up to 51 people. 51 named characters with backstories and all. I'm, I'm, I'm super happy about that. You guys have been absolute legends in, uh, in writing all these backstories and getting everyone involved. So, who haven't we really used too much? Um, Willow seems interesting. We'll take Willow out. Um, Oracle. Oracle seems like he will be amazing with our Burgateer rune. And if you didn't know, Burgateer, uh, the class mod, actually recently got an update and got uh, some overhauls to his uh, different abilities and such, which is very interesting. I'm looking forward to that. So, Rightful Thrust. We got extra, cr extra crit chance versus stun. Parry, that's going to be a repost as well as a chance to stun. Um, we've got armor piercing as well as different damages versus different ranks. So I think we'll go with them two. Then we've got all heroes, clear horror, and buff for a hundred torch like that. I'd be. Um, how much would that be? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15% stress reduction at 100. Uh, emit force. I think actually what we'll do is we'll go with these three. So, wait a minute. Go that, 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 and then that. Oh, that's that, that does stun himself, though. Yeah, let, let's go with Praise the Sun. Clear horror, buff party. It's going to be interesting. It's also going to increase our torch level, which is nice. Uh, well, we'll stick with those two. So, Oracle, you're coming along. Ooh. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Oracle will not... Will not go... Will not go on an adventure with Willow here. Which, I mean, makes sense, to be fair. Uh, the darkness and the light. I didn't even I didn't even think about that. I keep making basic mistakes like that. We'll, we'll bring Oracle out instead, though, because Oracle hasn't been out yet. Um, along with... 
Prisoner 10 seems like a good idea. Go with the charge from the back line. That sets up our front line quite nicely. We definitely need more uh, more healers. We're, we're definitely looking for, for yet more healers here. I kind of want to bring Octavia out again. I know it's rare for us to bring someone out twice, but she is she's really helping out right now. So, or we could bring out Smith and Elise. Uh, yeah, I think we'll bring out Smith and Elise for that stress heal and healing, um, as well as as well as the ability to uh, to cure blight and bleed, which is really really nice. I mean, she's also, they've also got pretty good damage too, and that extra damage versus size too certainly helps. Um, I think their main attack can work from pretty much anywhere. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. And then, who do we want as our main healer? I was going to bring out Maggie last time, so I think it'd be probably a good idea to bring her out this time. Yeah, especially considering she's so close level 2. Let's do that. Um, make sure we're going for the right quest here. Go for this one. Uh, and we're going, going out here. So let's take our provisions. We don't have anywhere near as much money this time, so we've got to be careful. Uh... Crafted by the Order of the Sun, regenerates health and ends turn. Interesting. Uh, so we don't have a lot of inventory space going into this, so let's make sure we have our torches first. 16 worked out fine last time. As well as the fact that we've got the ability to buff our torch ourselves. 16 food was a little light last time, so that's going to be a bit, a bit more difficult. I think that'll do, and I'll bring one more of them. Okay, let's try that out. <laughs> 51 gold right now. Okay, uh, so let's kind of think of how this is going to go. So, Prisoner 10 is going to come up behind and rush. Wow, he gets a lot. <laughs> he gets a lot of stuff while bleeding. A lot of stuff while bleeding. Even though his bleed resist... <laughs> oh my god. His bleed resist is 210%. But he gets extra speed... Damage and crit while bleeding. How has this happened? <laughs> God damn it, Prisoner 10. What are you doing? <laughs> that's that's kind of hilarious. Oh, my God. That's kind of hilarious. Right, so let's trinket people up. This should be a pretty good build here. So, probably going to go for... My hero, stress relief, yeah. Uh, probably going to go for the higher damage on Prisoner 10 here, so let's have a look at doing that. Um, the extra damage while in position 1 doesn't particularly help us. Extra damage, where, whereabouts are we travelling to here? The wheel. So we want the extra damage versus human, most likely. So let's go with the damage versus human, and... Probably go with a crit as well. Or should we just go mega crit and go like, hope he gets some really high crits here. What else do we have that increases crit chance? We have the bladed crossbow. Or, I think it's just the bladed crossbow to be honest. We do have a three plus 3% crit right there. Flat out. Without the 4% crits received. Probably better to go with that. For a 10% increased chance to crit there. I like that. And Smith and Elise. Unfortunately, we don't have any general repair skills here. Uh, ooh, actually, actually, actually. I made a mistake. Take that off. Put these boots on. Less speed. We've already got my, uh, minus dodge. Uh, go with the extra damage and crit. There you go. That's going to be really, really nice. I think you're going to take the slime jar going to be lovely along with you're not going to be in position one for long so that's fine hmm tough to say what we should go with next maybe we should go with the maximum hp and prop the blight skill chance is kind of annoying but not terrible uh we don't want him on super low speed either that could be quite nice but yeah we don't want him on super low speed extra maximum hp minus stress Extra damage and accuracy on the first round. Oh, that could be so good on um, on Prisoner 10 as well. This is the hardest bit about playing this game, honestly. It's prepping, getting ready, making sure everyone's at their peak performance and using <coughs> using things to the best of their abilities. Let's just take the Book of Sanity for the less stress. Uh, Since then, Elise, you're going to take on... 
You're, you two are going to be really tanky, so we'll give you the two the two tanky things. There you go. That 40 prot is, is big. And then, of course, Maggie's getting can't be marked and healing. Going to work out for her quite nicely. We'll try that out, shall we? Looks like a good roundup of people. You definitely can use everything from position 4, can't you? Yes, you can. Okay, let's try this out. Embark, and we do have yet more uh, diary entries coming our way here. Uh, first one here is from uh, T E A or T uh, for Verona, the snake charmer. While camping in the curve mission, my fe okay, this 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 happened. I, I read that as part of the dialogue. It wasn't while camping in the curve mission. Uh, my first expedition has gone fantastically so far. I was talking with Artemis again when she suggested we gather up a, a team and hunt down something in the curve, and perhaps get our hands on some interesting artifacts if we find any. I've learned that Artemis also has an interest in the occult, so we share an interest there. Another lady named Nina came by with a warrior named Anguis who jumped slightly after seeing one of my stakes, uh, snakes and declined to join us with a quiver in her voice. A man named Eon shortly uh, afterwards came by and stated that he would fill in for Anguis. Not only did he take our place, he spearheaded the assault, taking the front line and attacking relentlessly. I didn't expect to be joining in in the combat, but when we were cornered by the enemy, my sister coiled around my arm and struck them to a deadly effect. The fire is out now. We must press on. Great little backstory there. Great entry. Love that. Right. Let's try this build out. This is a, a ragtag group, I kind of think, but I'm, I'm ready for these guys. I'm, I'm interested. So, I think we can just take on a slice there and set up our repose here with the repose damage and the pr protection. Getting that 18 pro is absolutely insane. Nice one. Prisoner 10 going in there for that massive strike. We'll set up the cook to get that restoration because why not? They are going to create a few more. This could be a, a rather difficult battle for us. Uh, it could take a little while. Uh, but I'm I'm ready. Mark you and uh, lower your resistances. We could go for a stun here. Uh, stun Chen stun um, is pretty high, so I'm not going to bother with that actually. And we could go with the Eldritch pull. Yeah, that's just going to kill you. So that's great. And oh, -ho -ho. nice one. Alyssa Smith doing great work here. Uh, Brutalism. There we go. Beautiful. Got to remember with this group, we've got to uh, got to go back to default party order every time. Make sure we do that. But this is this is going to be a truly bright build, considering uh, both of these two can produce light. Uh, so one of you goes in there. Stride that corpse. Lovely. We want to be finding all three of those and taking them down. So we want to keep our torch relatively high for our Sunlight Warrior. He, he's going to want that as much as possible. And I do not want to deny him of that. Let's just go with the stun here and the activate the repost. Great stuff. Activate the cooking. And always, always get the repost going. Having a double repost up front here is actually kind of brilliant. Marking us with all this prot was... was a pretty damn good idea, <laughs> I have to say. 58 prot and uh, and we're marked is is nice. Okay, you two are bleeding. It's great. Did take a bit of damage here. Fortunately, unfortunately, sorry, uh, they're not really taking the bait on the mark, but that's fine. And take you out. Nice one, Oracle. Nice one. And Smith and Alice. We'll go for the pull again. Can't be pulled. There you go. Smith is doing big work there. Mark you. We don't really need to do the cooking while people are still at such high health. Ooh, that's, that repost stun. That is going to work so well with rune. It's kind of unbelievable how well it's going to work. Nice kill. Might be able to bring your friends back, but hot damn, can we just take them straight back down again? And we'll go with that for the blight. Nice finish there, prisoner. Well done. Well done. Oh. Okay, she's uh, obsessed with food, so she's going to try and get that. That's fine. She's taking that for herself. We can deal with that, though. 
We could get a party shuffle here. I think this party is pretty movable for the most part. It shouldn't matter too much. Um, of course, he's got pretty good stun resist here at 70 with uh, increased stun resist from our Jara Slime here. Made sense for this guy. <clears throat> I'm going to take out the bird. Didn't quite do it in one hit like I was expecting, but no worries. Um... That's pretty effective. I like that. I like it. And we're just going to set up the repost again here with Smith and Liss. Nice one, Smith. I do love these two. These two are some of my favorite characters. Oof. Missed on the repost there. That's fine. Go for the slash. Go for the strike. And keep moving themselves back, but that's not going to... Not going to save him for long. Not going to save him for long. There you go. Nice strike there. Um, yeah, we don't really, we haven't really needed healing yet, have we? That the restoration's been keeping us going. A little bit of stress there. If you don't kill these birds in time, they do uh, fly away and leave you, a, leave you with a little bit of stress. I guess we'll uh, cook here. We've of course got the chance here of getting um, some overfeeding. But I, I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> the kid there is going to leave a parasite for us to deal with. Um, just reduce some stress here. And go for the attack. Damn, that thing's, that thing's tough to kill. That is a big bite. Big bite. Uh, get that on you. Hit him with the light. Hit him with the light. In fact, we're even going to do that to get him all the way back up to full. Oh, he crit heal for 10. You're going down, fool. <laughs> Don't think so. What do we have here? Seems edible. Uh, that's going to give us maximum HP. I think. Or is that... No, that, that's healing received. Uh, we got to we got to search everywhere, so we got to go in all the nooks and crannies here. Food is already getting pretty low. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Really could have done to brought more of that out. We do have a good chance of finding some here, though. I know that I could have looted that there, but I'd rather just carry on, push onwards to the task's end, as he would say. Let's carry on down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking this composition. Maggie is is tried and true. Maggie knows what she's doing. She can feed these people back up to full health whenever, whenever anything comes up. Really, she's she's there, ready to. Uh, she's got her packs full of uh, full of food and full of healing items to restore everyone to where they need to be. <clears throat> Oracle, obviously unproven to us, but I think proven in his ranks in the uh, as a sunlight warrior. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely no doubt. Nice. It's going to help out there. Charge. Ooh, gets one kill, but not quite the second. And we'll cook as well. Oh, wait, that's not the free action. Whoops. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. I'm actually just going to go for the assault here and try and finish that. Yes, there you go. Finish that one off. We've set up the repose. We don't need to get the repose damage going. Ah, the dodge there, though. Probably going to get a dodge on quite a lot of the attacks we put on him here. Um, I do love that this buffs Merciless Assault so much. Makes it so good. And we'll go for the kill on you. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Okay, we'll try and leave our last key for... Um, hmm... It's, this is interesting, but I really don't think we need it. I'd rather take something that I can guarantee usage of. <clears throat> and busts are certainly guaranteed to use. I need them. Okay, we are in a really bad spot for food now. So, if you could not... Steal the food, Maggie. Okay, that was unfortunate. Um, Maggie's putting us in a difficult spot here. She's... Devouring all of the food. I am. Um, it's gonna. It's gonna leave us with in in a little bit of a sore spot. I think. 
Okay, Maggie, don't take too much damage. You have difficulty healing yourself here, so... Mark on there isn't great. It chose the wrong target there, that's fine. Okay. Go for the heal there. Okay, this isn't great. Spit is going to hurt a lot, yeah. I'm actually going to do this straight away. Blight those spiders for a lot. Finish you off. It's actually going to blight you for enough to kill you, isn't it? Oh, it's only six. Damn, not quite. Oh, huge crit there, prisoner. Nice one. Well done. That decay. Please don't make a parasite. Thank God. Um, Go with that, and then that means the blight kills. Even if we miss here. Lovely. Okay, there's some food, finally. Great for us. Found a map inside the tent. Nice. Uh, oh, what What is it that you two have that are making you do that? We'll steal items from your inventory if given the stand and manic for money. Oh, God, them two are terrible. Uh, so, how does the steal items from inventory if given a chance work? That does not sound good. And that's locked in as well. We need to work on that. Because that's... That's that's very bad. I'm not exactly sure how that works. It says if given the chance. I'm not sure what stands under the condition of given the chance. And finish you off with a stun. Well, start you off with a stun, should I say. And I'd say that there are there as well. Get the repurse set up here as well. Double reposting here is just great. Ho oh, ho. That damage. It's huge. It's huge. And don't you find that our enemies are so often left on one HP? Savage Maul there is not great. <clears throat> oh, huge crit. Huge crit. Overfeeding. Not great. Reduces our speed. Speed isn't... I say speed isn't so important. It is. Speed, speed's pretty damn important. We don't have to worry about it too much. This is three curious back to back to back here. Uh, we can take this. We don't have enough... Oh, no, we do have enough shovels. We do have enough shovels to do this. Um, get rid of that. Right, watch her steal this again. Yeah, so she, any curio that, that only gives food, she will immediately steal. Which is, uh, it's, it's annoying, but we can deal with it. And here's our last one anyways. Good, good. Ah, oh, I forgot to reorganize my party again. I keep doing that. Nice kill there, prisoner. I can't believe, I can't, I honestly can't believe this. <laughs> he literally can't. Nothing can cause bleed on him in the game. But yeah, he has two things that he only benefits from if he's bleeding. How ironic. I, I mean, he, it's obvious why he can't bleed. Because he, he isn't a mortal. He doesn't have blood. Like, it makes perfect sense. It's just, it's just crazy that he got those. It's funny. It's funny. you got to laugh. Repost. Nice shot there. They like going for prisoner. He's a... It's a big target, I suppose. He stands at the front of the group. Makes sense, I guess. We'll keel him up a little bit. Taking a little bit of stress there. That's something I've been noticing as of late, at least. We've not been taking that much stress. We've been we've been doing really well on, on uh, dealing with stress. Like, zero stress, 16, 20, zero. It's, it's crazy. Slower you down a bit. Oh, nice crit. Smith always coming out with the crits. Smack. Oh, unfortunate miss there. That horrid streak. Stop giving us stress, man. We're so close to finishing this mission without any stress. And you just keep going for it. And a miss there as well. Oh, the dodge oracle. Come on. Come on, Oracle. Just hit something. 
Again? Stop with the stress. Oh my god. We just got rid of all that stress. These guys resist bleed pretty easily. Nice crit there. Prisoner has been the absolute wheelhouse of the damage this time around. We did get a parasite, unfortunately. One HP left, yet again. In fact, let's just finish him off. Uh, I can't seem to strike that guy, so let's just do this. I don't know why I can't attack him. Oh, the stress. It got so high towards the end. We were doing so well. We were doing so well. There's another crit, though. That was unfortunate towards the end there. The Decay into another Parasite. No, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, nice. Uh, I just want to continue adventuring real quick and just see how our um, skills are doing. Okay. Uh, we can we can do this. Let's let's camp. So we can't do that. Unfortunately, we don't have enough food. So you have the man of stress. Extra virtue chance, different mode changes, party chance. Okay, so let's let's use this first. Refills random flask. Refreshes skill uses. Interesting. I like I like this idea. I be I believe this is some sort of Dark Soul reference with the flasks, most likely. I don't actually know. I've not played Dark Souls myself. Um, self only. Okay, we won't go with that. What we'll do here is we'll go one of these on you, one of these on you, and that'll do for us. As the light gains purchase, and we'll head back into town. Everyone feeling pretty good? We got a decent trinket out of that too. Uh, plus 50 resolve XP is going to allow it's gonna allow us to power level our level zeros, which is exactly what we need right now. Um, Eagle Eye, not particularly great. That's decent. That's not so good. All in all, not terrible, though. Let's see what town event we have now. Excellent. If we go into the wield on the next quest, we get extra damage and extra resolve XP, which is great. Uh, so let's make sure we sort by level, take off our trinkets here. But everyone performed really, really well there. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of everyone. That went well. Albeit Prisoner took a bit too much stress towards the end there, but... We can't always ask the world of them, can we? And we'll see if we're taking on anyone else here. Um, it doesn't look like it, no. We do have a level 0 Vestal. I am going to take on a level 0 Vestal. Because we don't have a Vestal right now. And, yeah, I do want one. Uh, something I am going to say, I genu generally aren't going to have two of one class at the same time. But... That's not to say I won't. If, for example, Diane comes back in a town event from the uh, Beyond the Grave, we will then have two Vestals. But yes, yeah, so we have a warrior, um, sorry, a barbarian, a Vestal. Um, did we take on another class? I, I, I thought we did. Um, oh yes, and a butcher. Okay, good, good. This is a good amount here. See if there's any trinkets that we want to take on for ourselves here. Um... Vestal, extra maximum HP, minus uh, damage, though. It's pretty good. And uh, we did not come out of that last quest with a lot of money at all. We've got 9,600 here. So that was that was not great for money. Certainly not. But in the next one, hopefully, we should earn a little more. We're starting to get to the point where we've got quite a lot of people in need of upgrades. If we take a look over here. These guys are actually fine. It's all of our level... Um, it's all of our level 3s. Uh, not level 3s, sorry. High level 2s that need it. Like, we got... Who else do we need? Mary needs upgrades. Aaron needs upgrades. Red needs upgrades. Nick is fine. Clint needs upgrades. But even so, if we go on to, like, Nick, I think... Oh, no, his skills are fine. Um, Morgana's skills are fine. But, like, Clint needs his skills upgrading, things like that. We could maybe cheapen the load by doing some of this. So let's have a look at our... Um, where's Ryan? Ryan is fine. 
Is he in need of skill upgrades, though? If he is, then we should, uh... No, he isn't. We've already upgraded his skills. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we're looking good in that, in that situation, then. We've got a few other upgrades to do here and there. Uh, you guys can give me some notes on maybe what I could look into upgrading next. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, thank you for writing all the backstories. Ooh, we do have one more before we end off the episode. I do apologize. This is a diary entry from Sixth. Um... This is by Unstable Straith. Sixth is our Beastmaster, of course. With the help of Sunasis, this is our librarian and a collection of terms, my knowledge of the fauna near the dungeon and Dismas's tracking skills, we have begun to research the patterns of beasts within the grounds. This information should help us gain an edge over the evil we fight, though we have only just begun. Thankfully, the creature known as the Collector has been making quite a stir recently and will be an excellent test of our combined skills. Maybe this will help Diane rest easier. Great little introduction there into tracking the beasts and um, our Beastmaster 6's sort of sense of tracking some of the monsters and the horrors of the dungeon. Really do like that extra bit of backstory there. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one.